Good morning, Boker Tov. What we're going to say a very relevant halakha for the upcoming Shabbat. Firstly, we should know that Shabbat services as of now are going to be regular with just two minor changes. Firstly, tonight we will be praying at 6.30, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Tomorrow morning is always at 9 a.m. Again, we're going to see how the weather is with Bezrat Hashem. We plan on, on being here, followed by Seuda uh, Shniya. We're going to have lunch here. Everyone's welcome. After Seuda Shniya, we're going to start with the Bar Mitzvah. We're going to start reading Tehillim. And then we're going to pray Mincha as early as possible, 1.45. And then we're going to have also Siddash Lishit following. So we're going to do everything simultaneously all at, all at once. Arvit, again, will be weather permitting, is called for 8.30. That's after Tzet Shabbat, so people could drive. Again, we don't know what the weather will be like. If a person feels that it's dangerous, or if the uh, hurricane uh, center authorities say that it's too dangerous to, uh, national hurricane center says it's too dangerous to move. Yeah. So pray biyachid <coughs> arvit. That's so far the plan. So the, main, the only difference will be mincha, siddash lishit, which will be as early as possible, and then uh, arvit, which will be later if possible. Now, here's a very pertaining and important halakha. We know Baruch Hashem here in Hollywood and most of South Florida, the Jewish communities, have an eruv. An eruv is what allows us to carry on Shabbat from home to home, from home to the synagogue, and in whichever uh, areas the perimeter of the eruv actually covers. However, Whenever there's a big storm, and especially a hurricane, which is either close to shore or even on land, most of the time, if not all the time, the eruv goes down. And that would then constitute us to not allow to be carrying on Shabbat. When and how will we know if it happens? We won't. So therefore, depending on how strong the winds are this afternoon and tonight, it could be that tonight we can still carry. However, most probably from tomorrow morning and on, we won't be able to. Now, how will we know? Again, we won't. So therefore, no carrying. No carrying means no keys. It means no pushing strollers. It means no carrying bags. It means anything that is in one's pocket is also considered carrying. So any carrying would not be allowed for most, if not all, of this Shabbat. So it's something very important uh, for us to know. One halakha that now this week we'll be able to fulfill is uh, is a person supposed to check their pockets before Shabbat starts. And there's two reasons for this. Normally only one applies. This week two of them apply. The first reason is to make sure that you don't have any mukta in your pockets. You might have your car keys, you might have a wallet, you might have your phone, your money, you might have something mukta, a pen, you never know in your jacket pocket. So therefore that's one reason why we check our pockets prior, immediately prior to Shabbat. This week, we have the second reason as well, to make sure that nothing's in our pockets, even if it's not muktzeh, even gar'inim, even if people like eating seeds on Shabbat, there should be nothing in one's pocket. So also, that is the second reason why we check our pockets, of Shabbat. So we'll have this in mind, Bezrat Hashem. Again, hope to see everybody, 6.30 p.m. this afternoon.